Okay, so um, I've had a couple comments, and one of my old videos from when I first got the ET6 was about um, this governor. And the first time I took this governor apart, I did it the hard way and disassembled a lot of it. Uh, when, if you want to get into where the spring is, it is incredibly simple because you just have to take two pins out here. Um, they are tiny flathead, slot head pins. Uh, and they hold the bottom of pivot on the governor balls in place. And just have to make sure that they are completely unscrewed. As you can see, the governor spins kind of freely here. Um, because it is threaded and I'm poking from the back side to get those out to pull them but the top cap here is threaded and unscrews and lifts off and you have to push the balls out and give it a little tilt because there is a brass threaded collar underneath uh, so that there's a double nut holding the spring in place on the governor here. <clears throat> and that is how you can access the spring if you want to uh, modify it. And then this piece here just spins freely because that operates, that gets lifted to push the detent in the way to hold the um, exhaust valve open. And, oh, the uh, modification I made by putting this washer well uh, as you can see this washer that I glued to the bottom of the that brass thing uh, has fallen off so I guess uh, for now I'm going to have to get that off of there and out of the way because it's in the all right well I'm gonna have to go back and do something about that but that is the way that the spring is accessed in the governor and then put this threaded collar back on and that holds the spring in place and it needs to be threaded all the way down because uh, if you don't thread it all the way down uh, it changes the um, uh, geometry of the fly ball arms here and then the governor may not retract enough to actually raise the detent into place so spin it into place and then get it and then pop the two balls in so they go into the slots and then this piece spins with that as you screw it down and it's tight now so I'm gonna rotate to the side that the pins can go in because uh, they only go in one way and when you put the pins back in, 
you do need to make sure that you check the governor action um, to make sure that it moves freely because I have noticed that if I switch the two balls to a different you know side by side like rotate this piece here 180 degrees it doesn't uh, the fit is not as precise uh, as it uh, it's not precise enough to make everything 100% interchangeable and inter assembling this in one direction does actually um, result in uh, a little bit of a snag in the motion of the governor. So that pin and tighten that. And the first time I did this, I thought I needed to disassemble a whole lot more of the governor. And I hold the exhaust open and just tap that and make sure that that's moving freely, which it's doing. So this is the right way around. If I reverse this, and it, it will, like you'll tap it and it won't close back up again. But um, the first time I took this apart, uh, there used to be very tiny C-clips on, or E-clips on these pins that hold the ball on this end. And I lost both of those. So when I put this back together, I put a tiny dab of uh, Loctite to hold these pins in place uh, for the balls. So. Uh, you don't have to remove these pins to get the governor apart, and that way you won't have to remove them and you won't lose them.